Yahweh. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhah, Kudash. The will honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, laboring the word in doctrine, Shalom, and in peace. Be that being to the elect of the nation of Israel, where the Hebrew Israelites, and are coming back to prophesy the return of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, through the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And we believe in this whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation, so we're just going to flow in the Spirit. We'll like the scripture to kick it off in a second. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 12, verse 25. It says, For I am Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word, and will perform it, saith Yahweh Power. And again, this is a great precept, like for Isaiah 55, going to how Yahweh's word does not come back void, meaning empty. Okay? You want to bring that first? No, you do? Yeah, I've got the word, so if you've got the Isaiah 55. Yeah, and I just want to, again, just, uh, it, shall, it says it shall be no more prolonged because, again, it shall just like Habakkuk 2 and 3, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's it shall tarry, but um, wait for it. It shall, it shall surely come and will not tarry. So, though it seems like it's taking a while, it's gonna just hit you. You know, you know, you know what it is, man. Like, um, I remember the other day we were on the call, I think it was in the Shabbat, and we were talking about the first lockdown period. I don't know if I can say that, but the first lockdown period, um, and how it was, it, it sort of hit us out of nowhere, you know. And it was perfect because uh, it brought us to be sharper, you know, and it brought us, you know, when, when things start, you know, changing up right now, through the spirit, we can be, we can be, we can be firmer and it won't hit us like that, you know, because you know, as scripture said, you know, um, it, it should take you as a thief in the night, as it reads, is it 2nd Thessalonians 2? 1st Thessalonians and also it says that it shall not overtake you, you know, because yes. you, you, you know about this, you know right. what, he, he, he told them about the prophecy, which means what, he was a prophet. The Apostle Paul was a prophet, he even went into the chains, 1 Corinthians 15, that's a prophecy. He even said in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1, he said, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So what's he saying? He's saying, we don't need to go over the breakdowns about how the Messiah is going to come. Boys, it's there, you know, Revelation 3.3, 3, and Revelation 16.15. Uh, there are many scriptures that talk about that. Yeah. And you, for him um, to break through into a man's house, Yahweh Shai used the parable, you have to bind first the strong man. Yeah, so if you're occupied in something else, if you distract someone, yeah, there's many, I'm sure, Holly, not Hollywood, Hollywood movies that go into Hollywood Israelites. Hollywood movies that go into how, yeah, if you distract someone, oh, it's just it's just a common convention of the, the media that we yeah, have consumed. If you, if you distract someone here, someone does something wicked behind his back, you know, on, on a micro scale, but then, you know, that sort of thinking, that's where you learn a lot of stuff, man. And that's where the nations learn. But this is Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So yeah, it's, it's slow, but it's not slow, right? Like it's not, it's not, it's, it's going to take ages, but it's not going to take ages. Right, so let's, go, let's get the word for tarry real quick. You know, the, the, the example I like to use is, is like when you're sick. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm sick. It's just such a long, enduring thing. And then when you're sober, it's like, oh, that was it. You know, it's kind of like that. And you know, again, it, it, it may seem like we've been waiting a long time for these types of, you know, for real wars and rumors of wars to come up. But notice it's, it's happened. It's, it's started to happen now a little more. And it's a bit like, oh, okay, you know, like, it didn't feel like a long for a long time. It feels like, hey, you know what? No, it feels about right, you know, it ultimately is the Lord's will, and the Lord's will, the Lord's timing and appointed time, how he set it up in his power, it is or it is right, you know, you can say, you know, of course we want it to be now, of course we want it to be right now, but we can't, it's not our choice, and uh, again, Yahweh's words are going to come back void, you know, everything that, that said will happen, no matter, you know, and it's, we don't believe it's going to take, we don't believe it's going to take a hundred years, all right, so sorry, you know, Hebrew E. Hebrew -y. We don't think it's going to take that long. We definitely know we have to be patient. We have to be long suffering in this truth. You know, we have to really bear the iniquity, the indignation, I should say rather, bear the indignation of our Heavenly Father for our iniquity. Sorry, I was that wrong. You got some? So I've got this, this is the word maha, maha, not to be confused with mahar, which is sort of the antonym or the opposite. So maha says to linger, tarry, wait, delay. That's the word that's used uh, for tarry twice in uh, Habakkuk. Chapter two and three, what I just read there. In fact, hold on. Tari, that tari is, is one thing. The other word for tari at the end is um, achad. Achad says to delay, hesitate, tari, defer, remain, remain behind, to delay, tari, cause one to delay, hinder, keep back, to delay, wait, stay behind. But no, no, I never knew that. That's, that's actually a good a one. Different uh, word. Well, yeah. There. That's, that's a good what one. we can use to go in. It. You know, when it says mark of the beast, we've got to do it. I wish I just said it. Yeah, clip the video if you want, E, if you're bad. 
right? But that you can go into the word mark. That can mean uh, mark them, scopeo, mark them that uh, cause the visions and such. So, you know, you're the <laughs> the man mark. That's a completely different term. Right. Like that. Book of Second Peter chapter three, and verse eight. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. In a thousand years as one day so even though to us it's like oh yeah it sort of took a time but you know it's here now you know, it's made well how, how much more so for the lord it's quick instant instant coffee man but there and then it's a thousand years is a long time man yeah. so how, how many years has that been since hamashiach was on the earth around two days man around two days now two days and in this captivity days drag you know you might have worked this day and that day and yeah it feels like long but really it's not that long you can remember what happened two days ago, hopefully. Yeah, and it might have been like a lot of shit can happen in one day. Yeah, even for us. But two days is not that long in the grand scheme of things. Have you got, um... Sorry, is it? Yeah, go on, go, go, go. Oh, my bad, I think it'll be more. You got, you got, you got some, or should I just go through some stuff? Ah, uh, I got you. You know, because... Ultimately, just like it says, the, the scripture, if you notice again, it's, it's talking to the rebellious house. Oh my bad, is there a password bro? I just, oh, it's good. Yeah, you're talking about the, the, the rebellious house, man. And who's our rebellious house? It's our people, man. You know, we've been rebelling. Us included, us three, we were in our, you know, in our past life, we went off. And now here in the world, before we came to the shoot, we went off. That's right. You know, we, we continue to, to go off again and again. And that's why the Lord has put, put the, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's declared this um, unto us, man. That's why, you know, it's, um, it's ordained for us to go through this captivity, man. And um, I don't know why you did that. Uh, yeah, like um, uh, it's 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 important to remember that these scriptures are for us. You know, it's these two scriptures, these 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 writings, are for us to get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. For us to have comfort. The other nations, they're not gonna get it. So just they can fucking forget them. Okay, they're just not going to do anything in relation to holiness. To man, I, I don't even know if I can. I don't know. I don't even know if I can count them, you know, sober on that day. If you catch, if you catch my drift, as in sound mind, because just like I say quite a lot, I'm known for saying, hey, when people start getting hungry, they literally lose their shit. <laughs> you got some? No, no. And this is uh, Sarak chapter 39, and verse one. This is one of my favorite scriptures, man. Because people talk, right? This is my occupation. You know, this is my profession. Well, what are we meant to point. profess and be occupied in? That's a good point. Ooh, ooh, sorry. Thank you. Water, brother. This is uh, Sarak 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High. And again, it's the laws, the instruction of life, man. You know, these mother motherfuckers out here, they don't even, they don't even, they don't even think instruction is really that necessary as long as there's some f feel good about the way of life, you know? As long as it doesn't affect me. As long me. as it makes you happy. Yeah, as long as it's like, <laughs> it doesn't affect me, I'm alright. <laughs> well, not knowing that, it really does affect you. Hey, when we sin, it affects everyone because. We as a nation of Israel, don't get right, we're gonna the curse will be poured upon us and the wicked will rule over us. <laughs> Alright, the wicked will rule over us, therefore the earth is gonna mourn like it reads. Proverbs right. 29 and 2. When the wicked you you got pack it. Proverbs 29 and 2. Uh-huh. When the right soon authority, the people rejoice. That's right. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. That's why you should be mourning right now. You shouldn't be out here fucking rejoicing about the way everything is right now. You should, you know. I know you, you know, it's funny because we're, we're in the times right now where people, they're, 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 they're really, they're really, uh, what's the, what's the, Retarded. no, 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 I was going <laughs> to, yes, yeah. but, I was, well, they're, they're like really trying to rejoice, they're like forcing it, they're like straining, straining at the gnat to fucking rejoice now because everyone's all like, oh my gosh, well, I don't know, I hear these, I always, I hear, I'm starting to hear these old ass fucking, yeah, that. these women saying shit like, oh, I miss, I miss, you know, the, the vid, you know, I miss it, I miss that time when we just had to stay at home, and these dumb motherfuckers, they, they're actually missing that, like their, their mindset is like, I'd rather go through that hell than this Gra hell. Grass is going. greener, man. <laughs> yeah, grass man. Is green, like we're talking on call again, like a toddler, man. You've got a little elephant toy in the corner of the room. The toddler don't give a fuck about it. You start playing with it. Shit, man, I'm playing with it. Obviously, I'm not going to say it like that, but I'm playing with that, man. It's all falling out. It'll come with you and smack you up a bit. Yeah, that's this is, people are in in a, in a spirit of a babe, but not on the you know right hand side. Yeah? And then and that's what they meditate upon. They meditate upon the rulership. Of, of this society because they're, they're not even really mourning man that's so weird like that's a weird thing to say like why would you not wish i was in paradise why have i never heard you say that bitch why people fucking, people fuck? don't don't see anything past this man's rulership man yeah man. that's why they're always trying to make it more comfy you know bring bringing um basically br bringing all these luscious 
<laughs> juicy things in the fucking captivity, man. Because that's, that's part. Of, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's part of not really having the eye serve. That's why I say, you know, and, and the people in reference. Uh, I don't know about the other one, but one of them was my auntie, and she's a she's a fucking Eve, obviously. Like she's my dad's like, sister. And like, man, like complete fucking all the way into the into the world. Yeah. Meaning her mind is occupying all the things of, of this world. She hasn't got the eye self to see what's going on. Okay, this is a Sahak 39 and 1, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and it's occupied in the meditation thereof, it will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. This is Sirach chapter 17 and verse 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. 11. Beside this he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage. Now who, whose heritage is the law of life? We. I don't see the Moabites walking around with cat soup, dog soup, rat soup, cat soup, cat soup, cat soup, you know, all of this <laughs> random <laughs> shit, octopus, yeah, yeah, yeah. what do you call it, mukbang, where they eat some random fucking you know, abominable food. Yeah, yeah. I don't see them doing the law. Yeah, but you've got enough churches over there. Yeah, they've got Caesar in every fucking house, so not everyone. But you know, you've got a lot of it. Even though, you know, there's, there's certain persecutions on a, on a low level, because they're Christians, you know, they're teaching the, do the doctrine of the world, but certain things, even if the... Um, even on a watered down level, the book still holds power. Yeah, I mean, there's there's people that go against the max. Don't mean they're righteous. Don't mean yeah. that they have the truth. But they 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 are going something. against something that they're supposed to go against. Yeah. And when, and uh, and again, if they're of the world, they're gonna they're gonna start thinking. You know what? If we stand together, we can go out there and we can bang. <laughs> they get shot. Because there's no yeah, fucking yeah, thing yeah, you can yeah. do currently. Now, if it was up to us, we get fucking murked, man. I say that again. If it was up to us in, in our flesh, flesh, we would get fucking murked. Right. If it isn't for the Lord. Putting in our spirit. Oh, we Psalm 124. Completely, man. That? That's right, that's right. Uh, and again, as, as it reads to be occupied in the, in the meditation thereof, man. You know, in the, go through the prophecies, it gives us comfort, man. When you go into the prophecies, that's how we that's how we start having knowledge of just of uh, of just how fucking uh, wicked the society is and just um just how badly it's gonna fall. It's just supposed to make us happy, man. Of no. course at first you might be a bit afraid, but that's the that's the that's the best part. The Heavenly Father, you know, he's uh, his mercy, man. We, he's 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 granting us mercy to get into this truth to uh, slowly abide in it. And some people they're gonna come in the last minute because of the mercy, bro. So the mercy, the Yahweh Hashem Yashai, it overthrows his wrath for us at least. But for E, <laughs> nothing but wrath for you, you fucking devil. And just to back you up and say, yeah, we got a bit afraid or affrighted. Does it not say when the remnant, you know, the elect, are taken up into the chariots, they were still yes. affrighted? Yes, yes. Yeah, so we just bring that out more, man. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. very important one, man. And of course you are, man. If you just imagine. Zoom, beam me up, Scotty. That's you going up. That's very scary, man. I can't even imagine that, really. I mean, I can a bit, you know, like the other possible bar. Um, being a man of vision. Yes, thank you, brother. Being a man of vision. That's that's exactly what we, we are, you know. We are man of we are man with, with men with vision. Sorry, man with vision. We are men with vision, you know. Right. Yeah, man, them. Do we walk? Do we? Um, yeah. What, how's it phrased? Do we walk by faith, not by sight. Right, 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 right. Because like even though I can imagine it, I know the reason I'm saying I we can't can imagine see it, it, but we can't see it. Yeah. The reason why I'm saying that is because I know it's going to be trillions, gazillions times more, more glory, more glorious, more magnificent. It have to be. It has to be, man. Because it's the First heavenly Father, man. First Corinthians two. If I just get that before yes, Psalm one twenty four. Mm -hmm. This is um. Oh, do you want to read it? First Corinthians I've, two. I got a piece. Yeah, of go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. First Peter four and eighteen. And if the righteous scarcely be saved. Woo! Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Oh my it? goodness! If yes, the they're righteous, frightened. Scarcely, man. Yeah. Don't go, go, go. You know what scarce? You know, you know when they say a scarcity food it means a shortage. So you basically barely made it. Like you might have to make it. You might have to walk around the earth. I'm not saying this is gonna happen. You might be one of the people who have to walk There's around the earth. On the pilgrims. Pilgrims. Yep. That's right. You got like you got a hey, a hey, Lord willing you don't. But you might have some wounds and stuff. You might yeah. have be ill. You might be really hungry in certain days. And of course we're looking to eat in those days that we bring out. You know. I say 66. But then ultimately. It's all, it's all going to be strengthening your faith and, your, and other not desire. We have faith that we're going to have faith ultimately, like on a whole other level. In other words, when shit is the fan, we're just going to be like, hey man, praise your Hashem, your Shai. Because yeah. yeah. what the fuck else can we do? I mean, even, <laughs> even though we knew it wasn't the, the final, final hour, you know, um, you know, by that I mean the final literal second, literal hour, you know, where Babylon's destroyed and all them things. We got excited in the spirit, you know, when we heard about what everyone's bugging the fuck out, you know, you, yeah, yeah. Russia, Ukraine. What did we do? We called each other. Hey, man! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, all the brothers were up for, man, and we're in slavery, man. Yeah, man. So that, that sort of shit brings rejoicing unto us. Yeah, because we know we're, we're a step closer away from this devil, yeah, whipping our backs, you know, proverbially, and getting into our kingdom where we yeah. rule, yeah, you know, with right. a rod of iron. Right. This is 1 Corinthians 2, chapter verse 9. I mean, chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man 
the things which the Most High hath prepared for them that love him. But the Most High hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of the Most High. So you think you're, you're the too deep? It don't be too deep, be one deep, as Elder Manatta Zachba said. You know, you're, you just just stay stay in, stay in your lane, like Lavar Ball said. <laughs> not, not to quote him as a, you know, a minister, but yeah, it's true. You, you don't try to do too much. Don't try to do too little. Where's that in Sarah? Um, think need. For, uh, it's not needful to see some things too, that are too, too high. Intense, right? yeah. No, not too intense. That's um, that's my uh, son. If you yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like three and ten, I think. Yeah, that's always good. Uh, Psalm, if I open the book, I'll be able to see it for you. Let me see. Psalm 124. If it had not been the Yahweh Hashem Yahushai who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been Yahweh Hashem Yahushai who was on our side when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul, and the waters going like, like to, again, the verse 5, and the proud waters had gone over our soul, going to the nations, right? Overthrowing us, man. Who's a, who's a top proud nation? Yeah. The man over with. Blessed be how about Shem Yoshai, who has not given us as a prey to their teeth, right? And we're not a prey. I mean, the thing is, is that, oh wait, is that a contradiction? It says, truth faileth, and he that uh, uh, departs from evil make himself a prey. Yeah, in this world, we're, they're there, you know, I mean, like, you know, <laughs> the brother nudged me and I was, you know, I had a feeling. <laughs> it's because there's, there's, there's people, you know, there's an individual anyway, he walked by, and he, he's looking all funny. He didn't do it now, but he did it the other day. Because he, he's like, you know, he's, he's probably thinking, oh, fuck these motherfuckers in their, you know, Bible, whatever. And, but the thing is, it's like, we're, we're not, that's all they can really do, you know. When they try to attack us, you know. Uh, well, what did you, how should I say, he's saying, you know, you can't do anything against me unless my father in heaven has sanctioned it. Paraphrasing. Right. Right. That, that's, that's the biggest cut. Now, you think you're about to intimidate this man, you're about to scare him. And he says, hold on, you, hold on. You can't do anything to me unless my heavenly father sanctioned it. Now, that's boldness. Right. Right, and that's not just you know us saying it together among the brothers. You know, there's not a big um, tumult. There's not a. a, a is it just died? Yeah. No, wait, no. no it's not. It's fucked up. All right. So that's okay. That's okay. You know, that's that's saying it in the moment when you're about to be afflicted, when anything could happen. Yeah, when when the um, yeah, he has the power. Yeah. He has the power. Yeah, E T T. You hear that? And this this the point. It says, um, "Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers." Now let's let's think about that. Like when you when you get when you get a foul is a bird, right? If you get a snare a foul, a trap, a foul is a bird. Oh, sorry, yeah, good point, good point. My, my fault. So the the the, the, the fowler refers to those that be trying to catch the traps the, the fowls, right? So the, a, a foul is a bird. So a snare, meaning a trap for them, is set up for them to catch them, of course. And if we, if you liken us, uh, our soul actually to that. What's the number one way to really trap someone, man? It's by doctrine. So the number one way that we've been made free is by getting the fuck away from these bullshit philosophies, man. And ultimately, it's, it's, the ultimate freedom is to be taken out of this captivity, of course, you know. For anyone out there who, you know, I remember we used to those old baby girls used to yeah. say they were already free. I think it was the new ones, man. You're really not, bro, because you're, 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 in, you're in fucking you're Babylon, in man. You're, you're most certainly not free. You're in a shit, I'm not going to say where he is, obviously, but you know, he's, he's in a shit all in Babylon, man. You know, brother, like, we're not free right now to that level, but we're, you know, and you certainly aren't because you're going off. That's, that's on the flip side, you have brothers that are absolutely free. You know, the truth shall make you free. Although yeah. they're in Babylon, you know, they've got they've got the thing and they've, they've got it um they've got it perfectly. But you can be in you know in, in proverbial earthly paradise, right. you know, like sipping on a champagne in fucking Bahamas. And if you're through in the head, if you're indoctrinating some bullshit, you ain't free, brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just you just a um <laughs> a slave with a juicy job, man. <laughs> and our soul has escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. Yeah. The snare is broken and we are escaped. So that's he, that's, we're not a prey unto them because we're not we're not trapped in their bullshit, their philosophies. We're not, we're not hey, as you can see, we're not in jail, as you, except we are, but we're not. And for now, hey, you know, as it means, if you get that, you might as well get that. Because then there's going to be a time when we're going to be tried, but with our faith, other one what's desire is going to make us be, have so much might in our spirit. Yeah. It's, there's nothing they can do to us, man. You know, bring it up. Book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Yep. Behold, the devil. Oh, yes. And that's the whole point. I don't know what to say. If we really like, we're not going to fear. You know, it's, it's just going to make us strong. We're not going to be, you know, give, we're not going to, like, because a lot of people are going to, like, willingly walk into a trap, you know, to get themselves destroyed by way of MOTB, perhaps, you know? Just if I may paraphrase, you know, that scripture that talks about, you know, it's. Basically, it's the um, the scriptural version of jumping out of the uh, the pan into the 
out the oven into a frying pan or something like that. Yeah, then they don't get caught by the famine or the way the sword. Yeah, someone else gets them. That's, That's what it reminds yesterday. Me. What was that? Yeah. Oh, what was that scripture? That's such a good one. Well, ah, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's, it's coming to me. Let me, let me get this one. I've got That's this real quick. Yeah, Matthew yeah. 10 and 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Yeah, but then we'll finish uh, Revelation 2 and 10 before we get this next scripture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Revelation 2 and 10. Be in none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And let me say this, man. The spiritual demon Satan is not going to come yeah, and, and cast you into prison like that. Yeah, he, might, he might have the spirit you know, upon someone to do such a thing. But the spiritual demon himself is not going to come down. So what does Satan mean? It means adversary. Yeah, so whoever is your oppressor, that's the one. That is your adversary. And that is your slanderer, your accuser, so on. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. A complete amount of time doesn't necessarily mean that, oh shit, man, I was in jail nine days, you know, this, oh, let me lose faith in this whole thing. You're talking about a complete number. You, yeah, yeah. Be thou faithful unto death, Ooh. and I will give thee a crown of life. What is it saying, Sirach 4 and 28? Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, shall fight for thee. Right. That's why again Psalm 124, the last verse, our hope is in is in Yahweh Shem Yashai, man, is. who made the heaven and the earth. Why why would we not trust in the person who made all this, you know? The even name, even the, name, made, right. the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it and are saved. You know, Proverbs uh, 17 and 10. If you can make this wicked world, how how can you not make an incredibly righteous, amazing, amazing world, man? Um it, it wasn't exactly what you wanted, but uh, initially it was never going to be actually. You we, were thinking about this one. Uh, uh Amos 5 and um Okay, 18, okay. right? Woe well, unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Whoa! And that's. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being there for all hundred years. <laughs> and what is it? Also, if you can get Isaiah chapter 5, I'm not sure. Isaiah 5. That's, yeah, that's what's going right there as well. Go on. Now, yeah, you just bring it up. Now, keep it up. Bring that first thing, might as well. Just refresh us on that. Before. Okay, a Amos 5 and 18. Woe well, unto you that desire the day of Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. All right, so that's a. I know that's confusing, but remember, there's this reason why I emphasize you, okay? Because the you in context is not talking about us. Of course, it's light for us, man. Of course, it's light for us because it's the day I don't want to say if we're being like that, we get delivered from it. this fucking hellhole, man. We get changed, we get to be everlastingly righteous and perfect. We're gonna inherit the kingdom, we're gonna meet Yahweh Shai, man. We're gonna meet Yahweh Shai. You're gonna rule over us, and we're gonna sit around with Yahweh Shai, we're gonna rejoice all the time. Like it says, we're going to be dancing with Temple Heart. We're going to be partying up, partying up man, in righteousness. You're get, walk, walking through flexing with the gold of the nations. Like, look, man, you, know, you <laughs> thought you'd have this forever, bro. And what happened? That's all. You know, it says, in the, in their glory, shall you boast yourselves. So what's that talking about? It's talking about in their riches. Yeah, so all the things that they stole from us, the labor they made trading us, it's all coming back to us, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's because they, they stole their shit anyway. They, yeah. they, they've been stealing, man. They owe, they owe so much. You are the thief according to the, the righteous law but again this world the law is slack therefore yeah. righteous judgment does not go forth uh, uh, Exodus 21 and 10 as well but we'll mm -hmm. get this yeah, to, to link up so it says woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord well this is the um, yeah, how you reconcile it if you like Isaiah chapter 5 verse 18 woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity and sin as it were with a calf row mm -hmm. that say let him make speed and hasten his work that we may see it and let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh and come. So what they're saying is, all those that, that, are, that are drawn to wickedness, that bring wickedness to their life, that are in, in this world, that are doing abominable works, they, 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 they want to those people, man, who are actually saying, I, I can't wait for you. How, well, they won't say it like that. I can't wait for God. I can't wait for Jesus Christ to come back. Essentially, is what they're going to do. And, and to be honest, man, there's going to be people, unfortunately, who know the names that are going to, you know, who are like, you know, not to you like them. You want to want to make it? It's possible. You know, of course, we don't want to think. I don't want to think like that because it's like Paul said, man. Our heart's desire is for all Israel to be saved. And now, hold on. Your know, Paul would be if you're breaking it down as your know, country to us in in uh, Amos five and eighteen. Then Paul's going off. We have to make haste. He, 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 get it from him. What does he say? My heart's desire and pray prayer for Israel is that they may be saved. Yeah. But what's he desiring? He's desiring the day of the Lord. No? When when are we going to get saved? We're going to get saved by physical deliverance on the day of the Lord. No? I mean, Lord willing no. it be us, I'm talking about yeah, them that was, that was written about, Lord willing it be us, Romans 10 and 1. Oh, you get that first? Sorry, did you call something? No, I'm 
No, no, it's cool. I was going back to Amos 5. And, uh, I was going to get back to the point that we were going to bring up. Book of Romans, chapter 10, okay. verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. Uh -huh. Well, hold on a second. How are Israel going to be saved? You know, by chariots, by the return of the Lord, by, by, by the stirrings of the wars, the rumors of wars that had to come to pass prior to that. Yeah, so what's Paul desiring there? Yeah, he said his heart's desire. And then he said, woe unto you that desire. He's literally, word for word, you know, is. And, but Paul wasn't going off. Paul wasn't uh, sinning, as it, as it were, um, uh, wrapping it up as a cart rope. But rather, sometimes Paul's words might be hard to um, understand. Yep. I mean, not say that one, but that. I'd say, you know, because of his epistle, because of that writing, it can be hard to understand this, you know. But anyway, Amos 5 and 18, again, uh, Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. To what, to what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is darkness and not light. Because for these people, it's going to be a serious a time of darkness. It's going to catch them like a thief in the night. That's for all the heathen nations and a lot of Israelites. Yep. You know, and even going into that about uh, Paul's letters being hard to be understood. Yeah, you have people that throw out the whole, you know, teaching of Paul because they don't get a certain thing. You know, there's a certain major group that does that. And they're on point in a lot of stuff, but they go off on that. No, but then you've got on the on the other hand you've got Muslims, you know, Israel, black Hebrew Israelite Muslims, you know, and they are black. Why? Because they're in darkness. Oh, this is Amos five and nineteen. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Okay, so it's like you, it's like you know, both say you, uh, some shall escape the famine. There's and that's another scripture, of course. So this, this is this is a good uh, precept, you know. Oh, bring it up. 2nd Ezra 16 and 22 Many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword could you, destroy Man, could you imagine going through a lot of hunger and then you just have to just get killed by the sword to extra pay You finally get, you finally hell, get your, um, you know, your pineapple or something you know, really good nutrients, good, um, it's going to hydrate you and next minute <clears throat> and your head just drops on the floor That's peak imagine, Even this scripture, you know, Amos 5 Imagine if you see a lion, you know, you see it kind of aggressive, hungry and you might piss yourself you know, Sorry for the language. You might, you know, you might. So this is in the scripture. The, the point is, is, in the it, is, it is. It's just you know the terminology is like considered you know very vulgar. Which vulgar means common, and it's common language. Language, you know. So again, you know, you will be very fucking frightened. Because what, what is, what's the, the opposite of a vulgate or vulgar? A scholar. You know, we're not scholars. Now you said it. <laughs> we're not meant. To, we're meant to. We're meant to come out here and speak. Yeah, you know, as people speak, that, that it can be understood. You know, the doctrine is what really sets us apart. Now, we're not trying to be all fancy and use terminology of um what so what about soteriology brother now, you can just google that shit no shit i said shit <laughs> it's gone and you know like if you see that and imagine how how fucking rejoiceful a man would be if he got away from a lion like yeah. a lion could fuck you up mate so if you go away from that I and just you were rejoiceful <laughs> and then <I'll, laughs> if he tries to take me now i just move if you, yeah, that's <laughs> another one about how stupid babylonians are if you want to mm. go into that yeah like <laughs> That you're, that's part of their prideful mindset and how it's strong they really think they are. Like, just like in fighting arts, man. When, we, when you're aspiring, I'm not going to go, I'm not, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, you can be like, you know, I'm not going to let Azan hit me. But then you're going to have a mindset of, it's a fight, you know, it's like if Azan skilled, he's going to jab me at least 17 times in this round. I was round. thinking that the one, um, yeah, I see Mike, and he was saying, he, there was a, there was a uh, basically a study done or a, or a survey. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah go, I got go, you. Go. Uh, did, so, uh, the studies that they do regarding uh, the mindset of those that fight, uh, some people say, you know, it'd be low hanging fruit if somebody was to say, hey, the reason why you think you can fight, but you can't, okay, it's because you don't know how much you don't know, because you don't know. And that's low hanging fruit, and it's true, it is, because it's not the big picture. The bigger picture is the fact that um, within, within, your, within your heart itself, right, you have that pride. You think, oh, I, no one can stop me, man. That's, that's what he's like. You know, you, you can't hit me, you can't do this to me. You know, the, the bigger picture is, man, is that you just think, okay, you just think, that you can just dip away, nothing is going to come your way. Hey, Psalm 49 11, the houses, um, um, the inward thought is that the houses shall uh, stand forever. For you, yeah, so, yeah. Like you. Roughly paraphrased, can you just bring it up? Yeah. I'm horrible. Well, what, what I was going to say on, on that was what I was looking for was the, um, there was a survey done in Babylon you know, asking, do you think you could beat a rhino? Do you think you could beat a bear? Do you think oh, you could fight a lion? You yeah, a lot, of, a lot of Babylonians said, yeah, fuck yeah, good bro, point, man. Good point, I good could point. kill a lion. Good point, good point. You know, no, you couldn't, man. It's devouring you. You know, we all like to think that. Yeah. You know, if, if it had to, and I had to defend my family. Bro, it's the lion, man. Yeah, man. Come yeah, on, we man. Were, come, come on. on. Come on, brother. 
Hey, and that, I'm sorry, that was the one. And uh, I know, can I make a point on that real quick before you just bring that up? No. Uh, the, the whole thing about that is that these motherfuckers, like, especially us, like, I, I, I can put my hands up and say, I don't think I've actually ever seen, I've seen a polar bear in a fucking zoo in Philadelphia, but I ain't never fighting. seen, I did not, and if, I, if that motherfucker came up to me, to the your only mind. thing is praying, man, because that yeah. thing, it, his paws is like as big as Mashar's head, man. That thing is. And I got a big <laughs> ass head! <laughs> it's, it's a big, it's a big, God. mighty animal, man. The Lord God. made animals to make, to be scary, man. So if you ain't scared of it, it's because you fucking stupid, man. You Babylonians, most of you guys just eat hot dogs all day and, and watch drink sports. Drink Babylon juice. Yeah, man. That's all you fucking do. And you want to talk about if a lion came up, man, I would square up, bro. I'd piece it up. No, you won't. <laughs> That's good job, man. Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever mm -hmm. and their dwelling places to all generations. That's their thought, man. The thought is that their um that that their their build their buildings that they've they've erected up their fucking uh, their laws that they've decreed everything that they've done to uh, perpetuate their generations is going to be forever and ever. And all they're gonna do is rule in wickedness forever. And everyone's gonna everyone's gonna submit to them, take that you know take the fish and chip. You, and do it. Sorry, That's part of their pride again. It's part because they because they don't have vision. They can't even see. Hey, again, uh, if you see a bear, you are not gonna think about doing nothing. But, if you're a man of the law praying, being a little bit hesitant because a bear, I think it, you know, bears can weigh up to like a thousand pounds. That's very heavy, bro. That's, that's <laughs> very heavy. That you know, that's, that that will make you be very, very uncomfortable. And now, in the time when judgment comes, they're going to be very uncomfortable because it's, it's going to be, hey, like it says in Wisdom of Psalm Five, more than they've ever even um, looked for, man. Yeah. So they they ain't even look for it. So when they see it come, oh, you know, I just won't let a chariot shoot laser beam at me. Come on, man. <laughs> Once you see it, it's gonna be over. Your heart is gonna tremble, man. You're gonna be dismayed. Good. If we're out here and we have to be in fear and trembling for salvation, man, you fuckers are gonna be fear and trembling when it's time to die. <laughs> you best believe that. Yeah, uh, uh, I'll get this. Isaiah 10. Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness, which they have this, which they have prescribed. To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. I was thinking of scripture too again, you know. And that's what they do, man. They, they, they make unrighteous decrees every day and the world goes along with it because they fucking love E, man. And they, they might want to, and I, you know, I've got, you know, I like to pick my pops up in videos. My dad likes to talk so much about the disrespecting the so called, you know, the so called white man. But then he, he goes and he fucking loves them at the same time. It's like, where, where, Jake is confused, man. Jake don't know how to, how to really hate. Like, Jake doesn't understand hate, and he needs to. Like, we actually, like Elder Paz Gabbard said, when you come to this truth, you actually learn how to hate, man. You know, there's a stupid sticker on the fucking, um, the letter box in my house that says, love for all, hatred for none. Some Muslim thing. That's bullshit. You don't fucking believe that. Get the fuck out of here, man. Who the fuck believes that, man? You don't hate no one, man? You don't hate nobody on this earth? Not even just one little fucking red fucker. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, can you got as if. Let, like, me, let me tell you, if, if someone came. Yeah, it's the fucking show. I'll get it if, so, if someone If someone came up, you know, came into your house, murdered your whole family, left, smiled in your face, shook your hand, and said, Yeah, you're gonna tell me you don't hate him. Oh, no, love for, love for all. Come on, bro. <laughs> Isaiah 59 and verse. I think it's 15. Bear with me. Yeah, yeah, verse 15. Yea, truth faileth, and, and he that departs from evil maketh himself a prey. Whoa. I thought, well, again, we do make ourselves a prey. The point is because they look at us and they do hate us because we talk against this world. And they can say how much they don't love they, they, they don't love this world. They can say how much they're all about love and peace and, you know, just happiness. And everyone must be one and all that fucking lie. Shit. Which goes back to who? Goes back to the fucking Anti Antiochus, man. Yep. All right. Do you want to pull that? Uh, can you, you got some piece of uh, Nah. Okay. I'll read this first. Yay, truth made it. And he that depart from evil makes himself a prey. And Yahweh Basham Yashai saw it and it displeased him that there was no judgment. It displeased Yahweh Basham Yashai and there's no judgment for all this all, all the stuff that's going on, man. You know, because if um if um realistically man, he's got he's gotta pay for a lot. Even this even down to the you know the, the minuscule things, you know, so called and even you know, just everything relevant to the law, you know, every nook and cranny. If we're talking about things like keeping the Shabbat, you know, he's gonna pay for, for making uh, Jake work on the Shabbat, man. He's gonna pay for that, man. He's gonna pay for making you work on, hey, some people have to work on the Pesach, okay? He's gonna make you pay for that. So in general, people have to work on the feast days, you know, people have to work in days they're not supposed to. And then, of course, people have to, um, people have to conform to certain things relevant to uh, his law. Obviously, if, yeah. we're, if we're not in the world, we're not gonna shave our beards off, but people in the world would do it, and he's gonna get judgment for teaching him how to do it, and of course the brothers gonna get judged for fucking going along with it. Good. He didn't even keep a land summit, man. Hmm? 
Mm. There's certain laws on how to govern the earth, and he didn't keep any of them. In fact, he's got the Guinness Book of World Record being the, the, the best transgressor. That's why we call him the man of sin. Yep. First Maccabees chapter 1, verse 40. As had been her glory, so was her dishonor increased, and her excellency was turned into mourning. We're not talking about Jerusalem. Jerusalem. You know, we are we are a woman. We are the Lord's woman. I got a piece for that. Uh, real quick. Right. Lamentations two one. It says, um, it says, how hath the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in His anger? And then I like to always bring up if you watch like Ed and Eddie when you were younger, the time when Ed had a rock in his shoe and he had a cloud over his head every time he was angry. He just kept being moody about it and he had a cloud and said it shows you that when there's a cloud over someone he's, he's got anger he's fury you know he's got fury rather it says uh, and, yeah yeah there you go and cast down from heaven unto the earth the beauty of israel and again cast down from heaven as in the glory of the heavens because the heavens declare the glory of the heavenly father as the scripture said he cast it down to the earth the dust you know a low state and then it says um yeah and remember not his footstool in the day of his uh, the day of his anger right yeah, and so, psalm 19 really that's dealing with you know him sorry him it's dealing with his people yeah, because we if you go into uh, Revelation the twelfth chapter and you go into Joseph's dream, they're talking about them twelve well, eleven stars that made obeisance unto him. Yep, yep. What's that talking about? It's talking about the Israelites. He would be the you know, the twelfth star. star. The twelfth star. Yep. So that when it when it talks about um that end is gonna enter the whole earth, that's talking about us preaching, man. Okay, but let's get into this in Maccabees. Verse forty one. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. And everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. So everyone has to be one people. But how does how does one become one people? According to this, this, this do unto Antiochus, you have to um, you have to conform to his law. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. Yep. For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. The strange laws. What does the word strange mean? Foreign. They're foreign to us as a the nation. Car, man. God, our shop, our shop. Uh, what else? Uh, what other words go to stranger? You've got Nakaria, you've got Gar, you've got Tower Shop, you've got um, one more I'm missing. Is it not Zar? Zar. Is it Gar? I think maybe it's Gar, I'm thinking it's Zar. Yeah. No, is it the, the freaking um, no, the, the the font is Gershom, Gershom, Garshom. Or Garshom. Name of the verse 45 and forbid burn offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple and that they should profane the sabbath and festival days and pollute the sanctuary and holy people you know so you know we we disregarded our you know heritage and culture just to get along and go along with you know with the heathen you know uh, verse 47 set up altars and groves and chapels of idols <laughs> and sacrifice swine's flesh yeah. and unclean beasts that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profanation. And we're profanation. So let's profane outside Sounds the temple. That's right. All manner of profanation. And all that's basically what you're reading, man. What was going on is that the, the basically the mindset he has of everyone being one means everyone has to be one in my doctrine. Yes. And if you don't want to do that, then oh my gosh, you're you're not conforming to being one. You know, and that's that's something we gotta look out for because the image of the beast is gonna be magnified quite a lot, man. Right, and that's not a picture of fucking Caesar Borgia. It's talking about what? The philosophy, ideology, doctrine, philosophy, philosophy, and love of wisdom. But what? The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, as the scripture said. So they're not really wise. If you're wise in the world, you're not wise. It's like it says we're wise to do evil. We're not we're wise to do evil then. It's not necessarily true wisdom, you know? It's, it's not wisdom. Is that and you know when you start, you know when you go over first Maccabees chapter one as well, man, it says it's, it goes into how evils are multiplied in the earth. Yeah, now the other nations I, I think it is actually if you, read, you might as well read it first. First Maccabees chapter one and verse eleven. So it's not that it's, uh, like, it's seven. 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 Yeah, yeah, 
Seven. Verse 7. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died. Yep, so that's who Alexander the Great, so called. Yep, exactly. He's not that great. He's left again. And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. Meaning what rulership they all ruled. So did their sons after them many years. Now who who were the generals? Who were the generals? Really you had five that yeah, going into the wars and died died died. Yeah, who who the who were the generals? They were beefing over certain parts. Yeah, that's that's where you had um, one of the ones. What do you call them? Um, who's the famous? Uh, there is Cleopatra. Cleopatra. One of them. Ooh, yeah, that's the point. Married, married yeah. into, into uh, Colin. Yeah, that's a, big, that's a good point. Uh, it shows she looked like a so-called Roman. If you look at it, right? And then many, many people. Then if you fucking like Eve's bro shit, like we're talking about. I don't know. You'll just say some dumb Eve shit, like. Some, I don't know, like, you mentioned Cleopatra as some type of, like, you, you've got some ancestor spirit, I don't know, man. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't fucking remember, because I don't even want to fucking digest your shit, man. The fuck out of me. But again, like, as you keep reading, man, Verse Alexander nine. died. I was lucky, I was going to say, Alexander had died, and then servants ruled over, and it was still the Greek Empire. Even when he died, of course, it was, they, they were still, like, the whole vast land that he had conquered, Alexander, which was fucking many, man, and very quickly, man. He was very swift, was like a leopard, you know, and, you know, this time period, it's still the Greek rulership. Go ahead. Verse 9. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years. Many years. Many years did the Greek um, rulership uh, stand, you know. And evils were multiplied in the earth. There you go. Evils were multiplied. Now, we're going to make that? a point. We're going to make a point, right? The other nations, they were still doing manner of wickedness, of course. But the reason why evils then multiplied more so is because the man of sin, the wicked one, was ruling finally. He was the one that subdued the earth. The earth was quiet before him. Don't I say that? It says, it says that, no? Yeah, he conquered. We have to be cool. He conquered. He conquered. You know, he, he conquered, and he, the, the earth was quiet before him. I believe that's somewhere else, though. Uh, either way, it's in the scriptures. So lucky. Like, we'll just paraphrase it for now, just so we can move on. Jeremiah 29 19 because they have not hearkened to my words said Yahweh Shemeshai which I sent unto them but by my servants the prophets now who are the who are the people that I like unto the servants the prophets is indeed the, the people out on the highways and the byways people that make the videos man uh, obviously you know we are uh, we of a uh, great millstone um, uh, are we are the men who are uh, of the body of great millstone because we are not uh, members of the camp but those who believe in uh, the doctrine of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, we believe we have the 100% truth. So we believe we are the true servants, okay? Because we are, we don't believe we have any leaven in our doctrine, okay? And if you believe that, and don't, and before you try anything stupid, we can go off, okay? We can go off on certain occasions. However, uh, ultimately, what? Uh, ultimately, no, we can, we can like in, in a sense of like, uh, what I'm trying to say is, we could slip up a little bit in doctrine. But then be edified on it, okay? But having said that, ultimately, through the body and through the elders on down, we get the truth. 100% of it, man. Not 7% of it, not 20. 99.5, just so it That's what, again, it's because they have not hearkened to my words, said the Alba Shemiyashai, which I sent unto them by my servants, the prophets, and they don't want to hear that, you know, the 100% truth is on earth today, man. Rising up early and sending them, but ye would not hear, said the Alba Shemiyashai. I just want to say, Salakia, earlier I'd said um, Isaiah 66 is where the script from. It's Isaiah 65. And I'll read it, Isaiah 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Yep, yep. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Yep. That's why it's going to be darkness for them, you know, in the world, because yep. they're not rejoicing, they're not, they're not, they're not going to see the chariots and they take Kala Yahweh in your shirt. They say, what sort of alien green Martian is up in this, man? That's what they're going to think. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, that goes back to that goes back to the uh, Roman god of war, so-called Mars, which is where you get the term martial law, martial arts, a Martian, uh, or, and not even that. It bears witness to how much uh, even the whole world will call a certain planet a um, a Roman god. Yes, and that doesn't that bear witness to how much you know, Rome and East system Latin uh, Romanization, Hellenization, Beninization. You know, all of that that they've that they've spread, yep. you know, like a like a disease. Ooh, you got you got a beautiful video on your channel going to like the periodic table and how oh, yeah, we look yeah, at the yeah, elements yeah, yeah. periodic table. It's all it's named after idols as well, man. Yeah, yeah. The words the word science mean, man. The word science means knowledge. Yeah. Okay. So they, they, in other words, they're they're, they're throwing they're, they're throwing their idolat idolatrous terminologies yeah, as religion. part of your school system, man. Yeah. For you to gain some form of yeah. knowledge, you have to now also <laughs> name things as a form of idol. Doesn't mean that if you say the word Mercury, you're an idol worship. Oh, Don't shit. get me wrong. <laughs> Okay. Hey, because then because he talks about he talks about not making mention of the names, but what's that in reference Ooh. to? In in worship, so in reference to in reverence to them. <laughs> you know, yeah, with me. he was talking about worshiping them in the Exodus. Yeah, the keyboard's a bit. It's okay. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. This is the book of First Kings, chapter eighteen and verse twenty-one. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, "How long are you between two opinions? How long are you going to say, oh my gosh, you know, it's fucked up because my people they've like taken." But then be all like, oh, I, but you can't hate. Like for all hatred, well, how long you can just go all over the place? How long, man? Fuck it. It says Elijah came unto all the people and said, how long? How, how you between two opinions? If you how if if you how about Shem Yashai, be be the Most High, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him, no word, because you can't you can't go in and out. Okay, you know you, there, there should be there should be nothing but like confusion in your own heart if, if you go in and out. Think, man. Okay, there one is Change the, 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 the yeah, and that, that goes to prove we're not going off and mocking the periodic table having idols in you know, the um, the idea of respect to look again respect and respect of persons that's what people get confused you, know, you can be um, you can be civil you can have a, a way of dealing with you've seen you know when when non-israelites that we perceive will come up to the camp we don't necessarily start going oh, yeah, yeah. You know, we take it take it how it is we can with, we um, reciprocate the same energy for the most part, but you know if you, if you were to mock and start you know, roasting the white Jesus, you're not even going off. You need phone sounds. You search, see it though. You see? No, I searched it. It's actually in this chapter, I believe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyway, you said this is the book. Thank you. This is the book of First Kings, eighteen and twenty-seven, and it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, "Cry loud!" Actually, um. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go to verse 26. Yeah. Maybe 25. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, Choose you one bu a bullock for yourselves, and dress it first, for ye are many, and call on the name of your God, but put no fire under. So he's saying, call on the name of your, pow of your power, but don't don't set fire for it. Uh, for, for it. Okay? And it says, And they took the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it, and called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered, and they leaped upon the altar which was made. <laughs> when it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them. So again, it's not unlawful to mock, you know, the other, the other, the other doctrines. But of course, those that mock us, they are, they, they're gonna, those that are scoffing at us, they are actually gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna get great shame, man. Why? Because these are powers that have no power. These are idols. You know, our power that we serve, Yahweh Bashami Yahusha, is the true power. Right. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, and we do that through His Son, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. He is the deliverer. He will bring salvation to His uh, people. And not all of His people are His people for now. So how about that? The reason, first Kings 18:27, it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked him and said, Cry aloud, for He is a God. Either He is talking, or He has been pursuing, or He's in a journey. Or peradventure he's sleeping, there must be awake. So he's mocking that's, him that's saying, cold, Hey, maybe he's message. busy, man. Maybe he's just maybe he's just taking a Hold on, hold on. You know, maybe 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 he's sleeping, brother. You know, maybe, just wait, just wait. Yeah, give him some time. Maybe he's asleep. Yeah, that's the coldest one. Your, your god must work hard, you know. He's got he's got to take a little bit of a rest. You, you imagine you imagine like um you know that that Kevin Hart when he starts roasting people. Yeah, you know, when Jake's good at roasting, that's that's Jake, man. You know? <laughs> First Kings 18, 28, and they cry aloud and cut themselves after their manner with knives and, and lanterns so the blood gushed out upon them. They started fucking out. See, man. that's mad, and that's going off. Yeah, get that in uh, Leviticus 19. Ooh, yeah, you don't want to make any point. cuttings. And if, you're, if, you're, if your God is not talking, your God is dead. So it's like you're making cuttings in your flesh for the dead, and you're dead. Yeah, you wandered out the way of, of understanding, man. 
1927. Yes, I believe it's, oh no, it's 28, yeah. This is uh, Leviticus 1928. You should not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor put any marks upon you. So I am Yahweh Hashem. Yeah, so right. if you were to get tattoos saying, this day I got roasted by Elijah, <laughs> yeah, they'd be going off on that as well. Yeah, but they were making cuttings in the flesh, which really a tattoo is a cutting in your flesh. And you're, you're doing it How to what? You can't say it. You don't. Motherfuckers get tattoos, they get cut up everywhere. Well, it's, it's, different, it's right? different a cutting in your flesh if you took a fucking Stanley knife or something. <laughs> right, right. And you're right. splitting yourself. Right, right. It's a bit different. Right. Whereas YouTube will probably. And that's take that's it off true. That. That's true. It's different, but. It's not. No one's going to be, yeah. No one's going to, like, have a little cut in the finger and not say that's a cut. Like, if there's not. It's a cut. <laughs> if, there's, if there's blood coming out, you're going to say I got cut, man. <laughs> like, what's like, like, what's <laughs> it cut? Put in, put in a lump. Yeah, with no fire, you call and you go, and he's like, maybe sleeping, that's a cut. <laughs> but he wasn't going off for that sort of cut. Right, no. right. Hebrews 4 and 12, right. you brothers can get that. Of course, yeah. Hebrews 4 and 12, I'll race you, bro. Hebrews 4 and 12, and it reads, it. it says, uh, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, right. piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Okay, wow, man. It divides the soul from the spirit, man. That's why people, they just inwardly, they, there's, there's like, Everything's crumb, everything's all disorderly, everything's all messed up, and they just can't handle it, man. And even even us, when I first heard this word, I was cut up inside, man. Yeah, but yeah, I actually really, I just had to hear more. I was like, uh, just had to hear more because well, it opened my spirit. You know, the term edifying, what does it mean? To build. build. To build. Now, can you just take any old bricks, you know, that don't fit together? No, they, you have to cut them to shape. So we had to get cut, yeah, and then, and then we'd sort of join into the building, living stones, lively stones, man. Cut in, in, in First cut, Peter 2. Cut and shape it to be a new, a new uh, man, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw away the old man. Yeah. There he is. And it reads, uh, he responds to for the word of the most high. It's quick. Me, it's, it's living, man. Yeah. This needs to be good. Oh, in fact, for those other people, get that word quick. <laughs> what? And this is, um, again, and powerful and sharp than any two-edged sword. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joint and marrow and it's the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Wow. Because you can you can be having a you know, cool conversation with someone, you're getting on, ha ha, yeah. yeah so it might be a woman, it might be anything. Yeah, and then as soon as the scripture comes out, where you have to, yeah, if you're asked a question directly, you know, you have to answer that, you have to answer it truthfully. Like it says, uh, if you could get that, talk about be, be uh, ready to give an answer and okay. meekness and everything like that. Um, yeah, it will completely change the course of, of the conversation, man. Go ahead. And the word for quick goes into to live, to breathe, be among the living, not lifeless, not dead, to have true life and worthy of the name, be active, blessed, endless in the kingdom of God. If you look fresh, at, strong. Sorry, have you ever looked up that word active on the headings? That's it, that was an interesting one. Jacob is I'm, I'm active, brother. Active. Active on the streets, man. Holla. Holla, I'm active. <laughs> the etymology of active. Etymology. Given to worldly activity. From old French active. Directly from Latin activus, from actus, doing or a doing. To drive, to draw out. Or for. That's my niece. Given to worldly activity, man. And the yeah. only activist you Jakes know is just, it's just the thing that makes you the most inactive motherfucker yeah, 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 in the world, man. Activism. <laughs> I don't know, let me get this real quick. No, Pan African. <laughs> Pan Africanism, activism. It's not, I didn't even mean that. I mean, activist is what is lean, isn't it? Huh? Activist it make, is a cough syrup thing, isn't it? You know what Jake be super oh, lean, shit. man? I didn't know. Yeah, that, I repeat, I repeat so you know. The only activist you <laughs> just know is the thing that makes you the opposite of active. Uh, okay, You're okay, fucking okay, just okay, sitting okay. around doing nothing. That's a bar. It's uh, First Peter three and fifteen. But sanctify the Lord's power in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. So that's talking about a sincere question. Yeah, someone that comes to you sincerely and asks you a question. Yeah, so if someone's being a you know, scoffing, mocking demon. As I did, you, you deal with it probably, I don't know, I would deal with it different too. Okay. And it's, it's situational as well. You know, the Lord's going to put the Spirit on you in the moment to answer. Just as He said, you know, when you're taken up before governors and this, don't meditate. Because you know, it will be giving you from the Spirit in that hour you know, what you ought to reply. First, uh, you know, First Peter 3.15, when it says, it, oh, sorry, First, uh, first Peter 3.16, having a good conscience. Okay, you know, our conscience, you know, yeah, you know right, you know, the, the, our in other words, our you know when it goes into conscious again, if you just get that into my line, it helps me. Nah, I think you're turning up before you can make it. Yeah. Yeah. Conscious with silence. 
conscience because it's a faculty faculty of knowing what is right so again as a reads having a good conscience so in other words things in your heart have to be righteous right so things in your heart things that you meditate upon have to be with the true knowledge like we said that there's there, there's knowledge of wickedness all right which our people are wise to do but that's to be something that's of the old man and when we're cutting the spirit when we're shaping then a new man's brought forth and then we can then have that meekness and fear of the heavenly father we'll be judged if we go off and our conscious is now conscious of wickedness right let yeah, me just get this real quick yeah because we, we spoke about yeah it does talk about the wisdom of the world and um you know, our people are wise to do evil but this is from ecclesiasticus chapter 19 verse 22 the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence so although there's prudent men in team and so on and so forth they're not prudent you get it and it reads uh, uh having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as of evildoers they may be ashamed those, of those you. black hebrew israelites right? always reading out the bible not just doing this right. not committing adultery not being moles how, <laughs> how hard are they <laughs> Oh, trying to do the best. How and they're hard. So yeah, well, they just sound sorry, slandering. Yeah, yeah, slandering, man. The accuser of your brethren is cast out. Yeah. Revelation 12 and 10. That's what we're waiting on, man. <laughs> that's, that's the spirit. Watch this. They may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good yeah. conversation in Hamashiach. All right, and then, you know, I'll go point. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll um, slander. Oh, we just go to that. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah, what? Yeah. No, I think it, uh, I think it's actually Diabolus of this. Diabolus. Yeah, to throw across, to throw yeah. across. Yeah, yeah. So again, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Hamashiach, and you know that's the whole point. Those that mocked us are going to be ashamed, but we're not going to be ashamed. You know, there's, there's no Baal isn't fucking real, man. The only real power is Yahweh Hashem Yashai and his and his, minister, his ministers in heaven, man. Those are the only two powers, and of course, uh, Yahweh Hashem Yashai, Ratzah, for the elect, will be found powers in that day to, to overthrow these motherfuckers, to take them in chains, and of course, our people will be reincarnated in, in the kingdom of heaven, and they'll they'll be they'll be changed as well, man. But ultimately, man. Uh, we, we, we're, we're looking for that beautiful glory through meekness and fear. What does meekness mean? It means to be lowly and humble. We don't exalt ourselves. We're not here trying to sell paper views and just get all this money. And, yeah, <laughs> we're just trying to sell the fight. <laughs> we ain't trying to do that, man. All right, we're not, we're not, we're not selling shit. We're actually telling you that we're reading things out of the book. Truth. You're selling not? Yep, that's the whole point. We're, we're, we're reading out this book and oh. then people hate us because of that, man. Uh, is it um, Song of Solomon where it talks about this, um, we brought it out the other week? So it's about spiced wine, you know. Or, or um, Isaiah 55, the first, the first uh, few verses. That's right. I'm not getting. If you want to get that, please. Let me back. Oh, what are you talking about? This is a very good piece of. Go ahead. Start verse one. Start verse one. Isaiah 55, verse one. Ho, oh, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye, buy and eat. So, if we don't have any, we don't use money to get to actual money to acquire this word, we can't buy it. You can, you can buy a Bible, money. but you're not going to be able to go online and buy the breakdowns. Yep, there you are. I, just like Elder Martin Zakhar with that video, you can buy a Bible with many precepts, and yeah, that is yeah, very yeah, useful, yeah, yeah. incredibly useful. We're going we're to tell you straight, that's, hey, go ahead and do that. It's a good idea. However, Yep. You gotta use caution as well because some certain uh -huh. times they'll just use. All right, so that word's there, that word's there. We'll right, put right, it right. To, and it doesn't mean yeah, the same yeah, yeah. thing. Like, some, yeah, yeah. like same sometimes thing. the reference, I'll, I'll see reference. I'm like, how? What are you talking about? But <laughs> I'll see for the for the most part, you know, the brothers got got one with the um, the presets. We used to go through it and stuff, and a lot of them are on point, you know. But you, you, like, there's nothing better than studying for yourself, knowing where you learned it and who you learned it from, as the scripture saying, and continuing in that which you thou hast learned. Yeah, so it says, how everyone that thirsts has come to the waters. What does that remind you of? The living waters, you know, everlasting life. That's what, if, right. if you, if you, John the fourth chapter, you know, to that lady, if you, if you would have known who you just asked, you would, I would have given you, um, I can't remember how it's phrased. Could you get that? I'll get that. Try 100. Yes, it was. Right, John 4, so this is uh, the book of John. The book of John chapter verse 9 it says then saith the woman of samaria unto him how is it that thou being a jew ask us drink of me which have which i'm a woman of samaria for the jews have no dealings with the samaritans why because it, it, at one point israelites did live in the land but i think it's second kings the 17th chapter talks about how you know they were moved out of the land and certain other heathens were put in that land you know, but the certain ones still thought you know oh we're the samaritans verse 10 
Yahweh shall answer and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of the Most High, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest ask of him, and he would have given thee living water. Right? That living water is what talking of this truth. Yahweh Shai is this truth. You know, John uh, 14 and, and 6, I am the way, the truth, the life. You know? Also, John 7 and 38. It's he that believeth on me, as the scripture said, out of his belly for rivers of living water. Mm -hmm. An example of that is what the brother Iowa said something and was teaching, you know, he's in his own words, but basically paraphrased the scripture by accident. Yeah, because that's just in his recollection, that's what he's been meditating on. But let's get back into 55. Well, sure. They should think about that. how you say, you know, and sorry to play again, but they just, uh, yeah. they, you know, just, just like we talked about, um, like it's, it's, it's actually it's amazing because I remember in, 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 you know, in high school and stuff, I didn't do too well. It was hard to remember certain things. But I come to this word, all of a sudden I remember things straight straight away. And it's, it's because the Spirit's on us. And like, now, you look, now we look at it, and we're not even saying, we've been this for a long time, but we look back and we've been here for a good amount of time which is a blessing and we just think like man so much words are in our heart from this book and there's so many words in it Does that really happen? we've not been in it long at all and that bears witness you know to the power of the spirit that you can even it's not like we've been sitting up um revising you know for a test cramming studies and, and gone to a theological seminary you know what have we done we've just come come together you know and the spirit has, has made a way man right and you know, you know, it's, you know, you know what it is. That's showing that the, the heavenly Father's given us now that spirit to thirst for the living waters. Because I don't, I don't know about you, brothers, but I don't thirst to go to, you know, like I don't know, fucking geography class, <laughs> or I don't, I don't thirst for anything. I don't, I don't. Hey, I, I definitely don't thirst to go to E's fucking um, history class where he's talking shit I don't give a fuck about and some bullshit in there, of course. Or I don't, I don't give a fuck about really anything pertaining to the the, the uh, formal education. In, in a way that it's structured inherently, of course, there's always ways you got to deal with. But what happens as soon as, as soon as, man, like I can't even say it any other way. Like I remember literally, as soon as I saw that first video <laughs> of the brothers, you know, uh, out there in New York, man. All right, as soon as I saw that video, things instantly changed. I was there flicking through books, trying to remember how to get to Revelation quick. Like you know, I was saying to Brother Zan, just bro, just do this. <laughs> just just flick through, and you'll find something, bro. Just do it. You'll, you'll know where it is. You don't don't like you know what I mean. I just right. kept doing that and I got there quick and I remember I went to we was at the we mentioned his name, you know, um, AL's house and then he was there and we were talking and I, I would I already had scriptures and it was like, oh man, I already had scriptures for what you said. You know, I was I was happy in my heart. You know, I was like this is perfect because the Lord say again? Yes, sir. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you know, thinking, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so when we was was at the house and I was bringing scriptures out and then and, and I just just only just learnt, like kind of understood it, you know. But I, in terms of what he said, I had answers. What does that mean? It means the Lord put in our spirit to have true knowledge. So what does that show you, man? It shows you that the Lord is dealing with us, man. I don't want to start to the very end. I don't want to start. It is true, man. We are the elect and we are the servants of the prophets, man. You read it? Yeah. If I start verse 1 again. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. Yep. And he that hath no money, come ye, buy and eat. And we know that we buy, you know, basically acquire it, man. Without, without any money, acquire it. Okay, keep going. So you come. You, you spend time. Mm -hmm. You spend time looking through the brain. Although we don't, you know, sit in a theological seminary, like I said, staying up till this time doing this. We do get into yeah. it. We, we get into the blue it. letter. We, we invest, invest in it spiritually, yeah. You know, no. where because wherever a man's heart is, that's where his treasure Ooh. shall be also. That's right. Can you read it? Ye come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Right. It's, it's yeah. like unto wine and milk, thing, nourishment, right? Without what, price. What, do, what does that remind you of? The wine. You know, who is the wine? That represents the blood of Hamashiach, the Awashai, knowing he is the truth, he is the word. You know, and that milk, it talks about that in uh, Hebrews, I believe that's the eighth chapter, is it? It talks about you should, you should have um, need that someone teach you again. Or is that Hebrews yeah, 6? Hebrews 5, Hebrews 5 and 12. Five, yeah, yeah. Five and 12. Verse 2. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread, and your labour for that which satisfieth not? So what's that? You're, you're going and you're labouring. You're trying to learn, you know, where's the cover? How do I pray to the how do I pray towards the cover? How do I remember this? Like, trying to sing all the Quran and shit. That's not satisfying you, man. Hey, even, That's hey, not feeding you. Even if you're not even if you're you know you claim, you claim you claim you're I don't know, an atheist so called. You know, you're if you're if you're putting okay. all your time into, you know, I don't know. Watching breakdowns from Stephen Fry telling you how the God doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're not getting fed, man. You're getting fed spiritual junk food. Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear and your soul shall live. 
Yeah. That reminds me of the scripture that also talks about um, uh, how, how uh, read that again, Salafi. Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear and your soul shall live. Right, talking about you know you were taught these things that were um, needful that could bring salvation. I'm really poorly paraphrasing it, but you should know that. I actually, you know, uh, but you know another. Uh, Hold up. Okay, I got you. Oh, this side. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> so first, we were saying, "Tiny, here and come unto me." One thing to remember, you know, to be a hearer of the word and a doer of the word is essential. We can't just hear these words, and that's part of being of of, of buying this truth and selling off, laboring, investing our time into it. Okay. Oh. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Huh? What covenant? Everlasting covenant, man. So there's nothing. Nothing, it doesn't like just no man, it's only for the Israelites. Keep going, even the sure mercies of David, Ooh, the sure you. mercies of David. You know, because King David was perfect, man. He went off, but he was perfect in the eyes of Yahweh Shem Hashem because Yahweh Shem Hashem had mercy upon him. If it, you know, if it wasn't for mercy, how the fuck would we even be here, man? So, we're, we're, we're looking for those mercies that David had, man. You found it? No, no, I it. Behold, I have given him for a witness. To the people, a leader and commander to the people. So what does it mean to be a a, um, a witness? Uh, want to know, and what do we do? What? I, hey man, let's go down First John. I believe it's, it's chapter two. If you just type in "know all things," bad day. So you know what's going on. So here's the deal, man. If we're the servants, the prophets, are we gonna are we gonna go out there and teach bullshit? How can we serve the Lord if we go off? Like if servant is. is I, it's so, it's kind of obvious, man. I even know, it's so basic to me. understand. Like, we, of course, we're supposed to teach the whole truth, man. You got it. You got it. Yeah. This is Acts chapter eleven, verse thirteen and fourteen. And he showed us how he had seen an angel in his house, which stood and said unto him, "Send men to Joppa and call for Simon, whose surname is Peter, who shall tell thee, who shall tell thee words whereby thou and all thy house shall be saved." Right, so what does that mean? You're saved by the faith, by believing on the words, man. Believing on the role, believing in this truth, right? In that living water, right? And then what? It flows out your belly. Yep. Book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 20. But ye have an unction from the Holy One. Unction, an anointing. Christmas. Right? And that word goes back to. Christmas. Uh, Christmas. Does Christmas go Christ. back to Christ? Christ. Yeah. Okay, Christ. <laughs> goes into anything smeared on an unjun ointment usually prepared by the Hebrews from oil and aromatic herbs yep so that's unction and anointing from the Holy One basically that's right so. but and he even have an, like, even the scriptures are like unto oil too, <laughs> that's what it talks about in the uh, wisdom the uh, son of Solomon but ye have an unction from the Holy One and also in the, the, the five virgins that are wise, five are foolish, yeah, they oh, wanted yeah, what, they wanted that course. oil, yeah, of course. Into, like, and ye know all things, Woo. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, <laughs> that Greek word there is pass, pass means all, okay, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth, so what does that mean, if there's a lie, you can't truth man, because yeah, the word truth means what it means, it's the truth, it's, it's complete, it's 100%, get that ethics, get that on ethics man, Etics. You wanna pronounce it? Right? <laughs> the word truth, etims, faith, faithfulness, fidelity, loyalty, <laughs> veracity, goes into pledge, covenant, quality of being true. Be right. firm, solid. Firm. Okay. Now, what do you say? What do you how should I say? That if your foundation is made of sand, and just of course roughly paraphrasing it, Matthew 7, you can read it, just gonna just for this time's sake. Um, you know, if, if your foundation is made of sand, then when, when when the winds come, it's gonna it's gonna crash, man. And that's, that's going into our understanding, our doctrine, man. So if we, if we have lies in our foundation, it, it, hey, no level, level it's the whole love, man. Eventually it's gonna fuck up. Hey, listen, like you know, think about a foundation of a house. If there's one little fucking mistake, man, it could fuck up. A lot of th a lot of things in the house. It could, as in like the structure thereof, you know. This is First Corinthians chapter three, verse eleven. For uh, for other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, 
which is Yahweh Shai Hamashayach. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. Right, so you got to be rooted like the brother was saying, man. Your foundation, if your foundation is a little bit fucked, you're fucked, your house is fucked, your electrics isn't going to be able to, you know, um, might, might not wire up. Say you, you need to get a, a 2.5 millimeter hole and, you, and you've, you've fucked up the foundation to the point where only one millimeter, well, you've, you've messed it up, man. You're not going to be able to get power. If you, if you do that and then, and then a literal storm comes, yeah, your whole house can topple over, man. Foundation is very important. That's the, that's probably the key part of it, because you can build all this other fancy shit. But if the foundation's not there, you're not there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know that's why it don't matter what it don't matter what the fuck Babylon does, man. The foundation is already filthy, disgusting. Yep. They could do all manner of, <coughs> and of course they. They, could, they could enact the the law of these scriptures right now. Yeah, hypothetically, it still it still wouldn't make up for it. Now they can't. How can E repent? Mm. How can he? How can E repent, man? Hebrew E. Yeah, uh, just, just yeah. Basically, you can't do it. So you know, it's, it's not even. It really isn't even worth pondering over the idea because there's just no way. It just sounds it's just so fake. <laughs> no way though. Verse twenty-two: Who is a liar? But he that denieth that Yahweh Shai is the Hamashiach. So you know, these people who don't believe in Yahweh Shai, they are liars. They don't have the truth. They're so, they're going to be condemned because they haven't got a strong foundation, man. It would be the Mashiach or Ham Mashiach because Ham is the. He is an antichrist that yeah. denieth. Sorry, and you know, anti goes against. It means, sorry, it means against. Uh, an, an, um, an anti messiah is anybody who goes, essentially, man, go, just goes against this word. And of course, they're sincere people who go off. But you know, that's that's ultimately. Uh, gives you know, time, will tell. time will tell, basically. That's the thing, it's an endurance thing. So, like we were talking the other day, you know, if, if a woman said, oh, I, don't, I don't have a man, yeah, and she's married and you, and you, you pop her, you know, then what? You still committed adultery, even though you didn't know it. Yeah. Yeah, similarly, you can be sincere, you can say, Oh, well, I just don't believe he came. Well, you're, you're anti Masha, you're against the cause. I just don't believe he did miracles. Hey, so called one body. That's that. There you are, man. Go ahead. And they also said, um, they, it's funny as you say that do you see my video uh, that's the antichrist brother that's the image of the beast I didn't, I didn't see yeah caesar Borgia, they teach that there is the antichrist whether it was a oh slip of speech gosh. and he meant to say that's an oh, but even that you know it's, it's still yeah there's many there's many images any image that's portrayed as hamashiach that isn't you know that is that it, it isn't you get me right. so they said that's that's not jesus bro that's not god brother that's the antichrist that was a i think a week or two ago yeah they, and they said that man so they're constantly going off. Yeah, they, they they say there's always new shit. Those those motherfuckers keep bringing up. That that's an example of a, a and it, it's a, like if you look up this. What I'm trying to say is, man, even Durham and I used to get all these these dudes, man. They they got a clean setup, right? They look very abundant and fruitful. They've decorated it, but their foundation's weak, so it's gonna crumble. Just like the brother it said, you can decorate me. the house, yeah. everything but the foundation, but the foundation's weak. What really matters? It reminds me of what Yahweh said here yeah, to the Pharisees. You, know, you make you make outwardly clean, but you look good, up, man. But inwardly, yeah. you're through. And the other brother, I think he said he, he, he said last week. <laughs> he said last week. He, uh, what did he say? He said, he said um, how um, yeah, our garments did like they're, they're still whack. Hmm. You know, they're, they're still whack, no matter what you try to do. But obviously, these people, man. You, you know, you can see that that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to magnify themselves in, in the outward way, but inwardly their heart is not inclined to these words, man. In truth, in sincerity, in truth. Ultimately, just you know, some some people might be sincere in there, so I'll, I'll say at least, uh, old, you know, it's, hey, man, not the majority. Though, I'll say like that. Keep going. You know, even men and seducers wax worse. You know, deceiving and being deceived, and the deceived and the deceiver are his. So right. That's all according to the spirit of the Lord. That's right. He is an antichrist that denieth the father and the son. So how about this? For all you OT only, if you say Hamashiach didn't come, you're denying the father. You go. Verse 23. Whosoever denieth the son, the same hath not the father. But he that acknowledge, acknowledgeth the son hath the father also. So you get John 3, start verse 16. <laughs>
John chapter 3, maybe verse, even start 14. verse yeah, 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Now, what, how did Moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness? I believe is it Numbers 21. Let me search that. Um, numbers 21, let's try it there. In numbers 21 and verse 9. And Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. And the children of Israel set forth and pitched in Obo. So what is the, like, the, the uh, likeness that Moses lifted up? Well, he lifted up that serpent of brass for who? The children of Israel in Oboth. Now they moved, you know, they moved to Oboth. Okay. Verse 15 That whosoever believeth in him Should not perish But have eternal life So whosoever of the Israelites You know when they beheld that serpent of brass They, they were able to be made whole again You know So that's the same way The, 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 uh, the, the Israelites that sincerely believe You know and them of the elect That are secured and, and sealed They will not perish They will have eternal life They will be, they will be made whole Okay For God so loved the world That he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. All right. So God loved so for so for um uh, for God so loved the world. And let's get that. Let's just get straight before I get the word world, man. Because yeah. of course the Lord don't love this world the way it is right now, man. So he even says, yeah, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right. First John two fifteen going out to verse seventeen, man. And then it says the world passes away. So then you can't say nothing about how there's different worlds. Uh, how there isn't different worlds. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Because th this word world. If you read it right now, cosmos, the goes definition into, of cosmos goes into an harmonious arrangement, arrangement, or constitution, order, government. And you know, a clear, a clear way to even just a clear, a clear definition is the order of things. Basically, I says order, right? The way everything is, then it's really disorder right now. This order is disorderly, so it needs to yes. fucking go. Man. You know, read that top one again, Baba Kishore. Sure. An harmonious, an apt and harmonious arrangement. Our constitution. What do you have? You have the American Constitution, the this Constitution. And it says what? The next two words. Order, government, government. Mm -hmm. Right. It's ease government, man. It's ease government. That's the one that, that, that is. Um, that's the world that's going to end in Second Ezra six and nine. So it stands to reason. So what government? What people? What your know, group is he talking about when he when he loves the world? Yeah, but so he, he loves a, a certain group of of a government. Now it's the Israel of Israel, if you like. You know, the creme de la creme because you also have John 17 and 9 we'll get into that in a second yeah, finish it, so finish it, John 17. for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life right now let's let's reconcile this with this John 17 verse 9 I pray for them I pray not for the world but for them which thou hast given me for they are thine right so what does that mean there's, so there's a cosmos yeah, that, the, that the Lord loves there's a cosmos that the Lord doesn't sorry the, the, there's a cosmos that the Lord doesn't love that doesn't want to pray for yeah so there's there's the elect which are the Israel of God in Galatians 6 and 16 or I believe it's 6 and 17 around there anyway it says uh, peace be upon them and, and mercy upon the Israel of God and as many as walk according to this rule and I think we had a video by that title as well we'll get into that so who does the, who does the Lord love pray for etc the elect who does he love the wicked the wicked of the Israelites or he you know, love but who does he pray for and it also talks about in Jeremiah lift, lift not up, uh, pray not for this people if you can get that so we pray not for this people and we pray not Jeremiah 7 and 16. Yes, Therefore, two, yes, two, yes, two. So you can get that and you can get it. Yeah, two, two. Pray not thou for his for this people, neither lift up, cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. Imagine actually being told, don't even pray for these people, man. Don't even pray for them. 
Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Uh, sorry, brother. I was gonna say because like how it, well, it's just for actually. I'll hold my thought. Keep it. Yeah. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up right. a cry or prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. Yeah. Their trouble. Why is that? That's like a problem. Uh, 14 and 11 as well. Jeremiah 14 yeah, and 11. The other one is Then saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai unto me, pray not for this people, for their good. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, damn, what's the other one? Because I had a thought process. Uh, oh, yeah, like in Proverbs 1 and 20, right? You know, they, they're going to they're gonna try to seek the Lord earlier, but it should be too late, roughly paraphrasing once again. You know, the, the Lord isn't going to hear their prayers because our people have been endorsing wickedness heavily, man. That's what they've been. That's what they've been investing in. They've been investing in all manner of wickedness, oh, and they right expect then. to actually yeah. get saved. Maybe let's get that last one. Okay. This is uh, and we'll close after this. Sirach 43 and verse 30. When you glorify the Lord, exalt Him as much as you can. But even yet, will you far exceed? And when you exalt Him, put forth all your strength. And be not weary, for you can never go far enough. Right. So with that, you know, we praise be edifying. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well, laboring the word and doctrine. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukhak Kudash. Shalom, Mu'athlibabal. Shalom.